<laughs> what is up everybody it's your boy shazwi and welcome back to another video shazwi gang how is everybody doing i'm doing all right if you're new to this channel and you're clicking on me for the very first time please be sure to like comment and subscribe and also turn that post notification button so that you get notified every time i upload a new video so everybody look at me you know i got that drip today look at my o -O -T -D. <laughs> okay i got okay. my um the shiki going on got my long johns you know my little slippers don't mind my crusty ass feet i got crusty ass feet it's because i don't put lotion on my feet which is bad i should put lotion but who cares um yeah so this is the very last video of 2019 um that i'm going to be posting um this is literally the very last day of the year happy new year to everybody happy 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 new year i hope that your um the new coming year will give you happiness and success and love and laughter um i hope that it's a great year it's going to be a great year for everybody so happy new year to those who have already crossed on into 2020 um if you haven't it doesn't matter it's going to be new year anyway in the next couple hours so happy new year to everybody um so today i wanted to basically reflect on this past decade because what what makes this new year special is that it, it's not just entering a new year which is obviously always a you know a happy thing a special thing but it's also um we're crossing into a new decade you know we're crossing into the 2020s decade and 2020 i think is going to be a really special year because obviously it's double and i saw this really funny meme that i'll like put up where it's like they say um people with glasses it'll be their first time seeing 2020 <laughs> um 2020 vision but basically um i wanted to take this time to reflect on my favorite memories from the past decade so from 2010 to 2019 um so this decade i went through a whole lot um this decade was the decade of my teen years i started this decade off when i was 11 i was 11 years old and now I'm finishing this decade at the age of 21, you know, 10 years later. And I went through a whole lot this decade. There were a lot of milestones. There were a lot of incredible things that happened this decade. I truly grew up this decade. I learned a lot. And I wanted to take this time to basically um, reflect and, and basically uh, tell you guys um, my most memorable moments of this past decade. Um, yeah. Um, if there's a picture or something that I can post related to that, I will show you guys. Um, but I don't have like all the photos. I probably like won't, won't be able to show like pictures of everything I went through. But these are the most memorable things that I went through this past decade. So the number one thing that comes to mind for me is uh, moving houses. So in 2010, in it must have been, it was November in 2010, I moved houses. So I moved from my childhood home that I pretty much grew up with for most of my entire life. Since like 2001, 2002, we moved from that house to a new house that year. And this was a huge change for me because I was so used to the house we're living in. That's my childhood home. Yes, prior to that house, we did live somewhere for about three, four years, well, of my life. But I didn't remember us moving. I only have like one memory, but... You know, it's not that strong, but the house we stay in, which funny enough, we ended up moving back to um, not too long ago. Um, yeah, we moved. So moving was a really big thing for me. It was the first time I really experienced moving. So that was a big, um, I guess, sort of not I wouldn't necessarily say it was a milestone, but it was a, a definitely a memorable moment. It was fun. I enjoyed the house we stayed in, our new house. It was it was a nice house. I enjoyed the memories we had there. And um, it was at that house that I experienced a lot too. So that was in 2010. And I was, so when we moved, I was um, 12 at the time actually, um, when we moved, that was November. And then the following year in 2011, I experienced probably the most exciting thing I experienced ever. Um, the most exciting memory, not only of this decade, but I think in my entire life, the most exciting thing I think I've ever went through or definitely top two or something. Um, this was traveling. I traveled a lot this decade. I traveled for the first time in 2011 in January. I went with my mom and my aunt. We went to South Africa. Um, we went to Durban. And this was the first time I ever went on a plane. This was the first time I ever went to another country. It was the first time I went to the beach. I experienced so many things in two days that it's incredible. It was a short trip, but it was amazing for me. And I can literally recount 
recount the entire trip like i still remember it back to back and everything we did it was incredible i loved it i absolutely loved it so ecstatic and i hope that for any person who hasn't traveled or has never been on a plane i hope that they get to experience that someday because it is something you'll never forget it was such an incredible experience i freaking loved it so that was definitely my happiest and most memorable memory from this uh decade and probably my entire life it was incredible i loved it because i love traveling it might not sound like a big deal to a lot of people but it was a huge deal to me because for a long time at that point i had wanted to travel but i didn't so i'm happy that we did that so that was 2011. the next huge memory for me and quite a few of these will be traveling related because i freaking love traveling <laughs> The next memorable thing for me, I would say, I guess, would be experiencing teenage, my teenage years. I turned 13 in 2011, um, you know, experienced, you know, um, high school. I, the new school that I trans, uh, transferred to in 2010 was a really important time for me because I met my best friends, who I will show you guys. I met my best friends, you know, whom I love so much. I love these girls. I went to this incredible school, which actually is the reason why I'm still a Christian to today. So that was a huge thing for me. Had I not gone to the school, I probably would be atheist or agnostic right now. But this school really helped me see a different side of my faith. And that's why I feel so connected to God as ever. And this is because of my experience at the school and the years that I had there. I was there for about four years or something. It was an amazing school, celebration school, um, being at Celebration Center. It was amazing. So I treasure that time that I had. I treasure those years. Definitely a huge memorable moment for me, meeting amazing, amazing, amazing people. Um, another huge moment for me, um, another memorable thing was in 2012. Um, that year, my brother graduated and we went to Australia for the first time. That was an incredible, incredible trip. Um, Australia is such a beautiful country. I'd never been there before. And it was also huge because obviously traveling, you know, and it was my first time traveling in like, you know, business class, slash first class or whatever. It was an amazing, amazing trip. It was so fun. I, I still can't believe we did that, you know, traveling in style and, you know, doing whatever. And that's not trying to brag or anything. It's just something that was such a memorable trip for all of us. And it was incredible. I loved it. Um, Another big, um, amazing thing that happened. So that was 2012 and I was like 14 at the time. Another big thing I, I guess I would say that happened this decade, the memorable moment I would say was um, just all the other traveling that I did. In 2015, I went to France. 2016, I went to Tanzania. I went to Dubai in 2015 as well for the first time. Just lots of traveling that I did. Um, other huge moments, I guess, would be graduating from high school. I graduated from high school in 2017, class of 2017. Um, and that was also an incredible trip. That same year, I started college. I started my college slash university journey. And it's amazing. I'm a junior now, you know, ending off the decade, you know, I'm a junior in college and I'll be graduating in about a year's time. And it's, it's been amazing. That was such a huge moment for me because I'm growing up and I'm an, I'm an adult living on my own for the first time, being in America for the first time, experiencing different things, new cultures. That was such a huge, it's a huge, huge moment for me that I will always, always remember, you know, that I'll never take for granted. And I'm just so, I feel so blessed and happy with all the opportunities I've had. And going into 2020, I'm looking forward to what new memories God has in store for me and what life has in store to throw at me. They will be downs, they will be some trials and tribulations, obstacles, but I'm ready to challenge it. I'm ready to go through it and just live life and be happy and not sweat, you know, the hard stuff and just keep going. Um, another huge memory I would also say was, uh, the, I, I transferred schools again. I've been to quite a few schools, but I went to this really, really amazing school. And that's where I did my last three years of school there, my high school years. I transferred there in 2014. I was in, um, 
So I did sophomore year again when I got to the school, Haran International School. It's a beautiful, amazing school. And it was through the school that I got to travel a lot. I got to travel to, and a lot of international schools would come to our school too. I met my other group of best friends. They have a group of best friends, guy friends. I'll show you the picture here of my amazing friends who I still keep in contact with. I love these guys. I wouldn't trade them for a world, to, for the world, honestly. They're such incredible people. I love those guys. I love all of my friends, my best friends, the amazing people I've met. Um, you know, I'm just so thankful. I'm, I'm so thankful for these people. I'm so thankful that I met them. And that's, you know, those are the treasured memories. And that's a huge memorable moment for me that I'll take from this decade is meeting these amazing people who have done nothing but add to my life. Um, there, there are probably also a bunch of other memories that I've had throughout this decade. I got my driver's license. I experienced a bunch of different stuff. Obviously, I can't remember everything, but this was an amazing decade for me. Um, I, I loved it, and I'm looking forward to experiencing the rest of my 20s and going into my 30s this coming decade. By the end of this decade, I'll be 31, which is insane. I'm going to be in my 30s by the end of the 2020s decade. It's, 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 it's mind boggling, but I'm also looking forward to it. I like, you know, I'm looking forward to, you know, getting older and hopefully by then I just pray heavenly father that this new decade will be incredible and that, you know, I'll be financially stable. I'll be independent. Lord, I pray for success. I pray for happiness and I pray for all your success and happiness too, guys. Um, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope I didn't take up too much of your time. If you watch this video, thank you so much. Please feel free to share this channel. I hope, you know, I also pray that this channel will continue to go on and that it will blow up and, you know, do great things with this channel too as time goes on. Happy 2020. Happy New Year, everybody. Love y'all. And I will see y'all next year. Stay tuned for the very next videos. Bye. Happy New Year. Eh, eh, eh. It, 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 it.